This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by FreshBooks. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we're scanning multiple targets in Nmap, aka Network Mapper. Now, last week we discussed the simple task of installing Nmap and scanning for a selected target. Pretty easy. I chose to scan my Synology NAS to show you a quick outline of what to expect whenever your scan has completed. Now, let's say that you want to scan multiple targets all at once. Instead of scanning them one at a time, you can do them all in one command, such as this. First off, you need to type in nmap and then your three, four, or five, or however many IP addresses that you want to scan. So I know that I am in the 10.73.31 range. So I'm going to scan 10.73.31.1. I'm also going to scan 10.73.31.58. And I'll scan 10.73.31. Uh, let's say 100. Let's see if anything's on 100. Then you start the scan and it'll print out anything that is going on through Nmap. So this will list each of them in the same order, starting with your first IP address and then the second one and then the third one if you had a third. The list will look similar to just scanning one target, except you'll have one target, the second and the third. Very simple. Also, if they are all on the same subnet, you can also type your command like this one, such as Nmap. And then you can type in another IP address, 10.73.31. Let's say I'll do 1, 15, and 255. Probably nothing up there, but we'll see. And then it'll output all of the same information. Now, if you want to scan a range of IP addresses that looks a little bit different, and this will scan pretty much everything on your network if you want it to, you could simply type in something like this and map, and then type in your IP address, 10.73.31.1, and I'm gonna say through 100. So this is actually gonna pull up whatever is going on. It'll output any and all networked hardware that is currently on and connected between those IP address ranges. So if we keep it going, there we go. Okay, so we're starting to see all sorts of things. Now this one's probably my favorite one. If I scroll up right now, you're going to see, let's see, there's something on 99. HTTP and CS listener. If I scroll up, 75 is right here. 75 has a bunch of open ports. I wonder what those are. Curious. Hmm, curiosity. 74 is open. 73. So we have a whole bunch of things on the network going on right now. It's obviously a work ne network. Plenty of things going on. Now, if you want, you can also change this to a different class of subnet or a range of networks by doing the same thing, but changing around a couple of the numbers that you put in. So instead of typing in nmap 10.73.31.1 through 100, I could also put 10.73. And then I could do 1 through 100 dot star. So it looks a little bit different. That wild card, the little, little asterisk at the end, remember that from our Linux Terminal 101 series? Yeah, it works the exact same way here. It will scan all ranges from 0 to 255 in that subnet. So I'm going to hit enter. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it works. <laughs> so we'll let this go ahead and run real quick. And I'm going to let it run in the background after the break. We will try scanning an entire subnet. But first, let's take a quick break for our sponsor. FreshBooks is the simple online accounting solution built for small business owners just like you who want to skip the headache of tax time. It is tax time, and if you're not using FreshBooks, your life is a mess right now. You're hunting for receipts and digging through invoices and going through every record one by one. Oh, it's the worst. FreshBooks is the simple cloud accounting solution that will make tax time a breeze. Seriously, I know this because guess what? My taxes are already done. You know why? I was able to keep track of each and every receipt for the entire year through their 
your expense page. I can group and I can sort depending on what type of expense they are so that when I'm filling out my tax forms, it's really easy for me to find specific receipts. To be honest, it kind of helped me save a little bit of money this year on taxes because it totally helped me keep organized and I didn't lose anything. It was wonderful. Now with FreshBooks, you can create professional looking invoices as well. You can capture and track expenses. You can get real time business reports with just a couple of clicks. Plus, you can work anywhere with FreshBooks mobile app for your phone and your tablet. It's really useful. The sooner you start using FreshBooks, the sooner you can start focusing on the work that you love and I love. Focus on your work, not your paperwork. For a limited time, you can try FreshBooks for free for 60 days. To get started, visit getfreshbooks.com now and enter Hack5 in the How Did You Hear About Us section. Right now, FreshBooks is giving away to our viewers an extended 60-day free trial to make tax time a breeze. And hurry up, because tax time is almost over. Again, go to getfreshbooks.com and enter Hack5 in the How Did You Hear About Us section when signing up. Thank you so much, FreshBooks, for supporting the show. And we are back and ready to scan an entire subnet. Now back in the terminal, let's go ahead and start typing our next command. This one starts again with nmap to begin the command. And then we type in 10.73.31.1, looks a little weird, slash 24. Okay, I know that looks a little weird. So that slash 24 is a thing called a CIDR notation of the network address and the subnet mask in binary bits. Again, okay, so this command will give you a very similar information as the long list of outputs, but here's a really fun one. You can scan a list of targets from IP addresses that you had previously entered into a text file. That's pretty too cool too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enter this. So 10.73.31.1 slash 24, and go ahead and start that. So this is going to list out everything on my network, but it's much easier than typing out one through 100 or one through 254, 255 or what have you. Now, speaking of that text file that I mentioned, this is kind of cool, putting all those IP addresses that you had previously entered into a text file. You can do that simply by using the cat command, and we also mentioned that in our Linux Terminal 101 segments uh, previously in Hacktip. So you can use cat space list dot txt, and then we'll enter a few IP addresses that we want to scan, and this time we're going to add a syntax to it. So. Let me go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna type cat space list.txt, and this is going to show me the IP addresses that I had entered into that text file. So I did one 10.73.31.145. I hit enter to bring it to a new line, and then I typed in 10.73.31.116, and I just simply saved the file in my root. Now this time we are going to go ahead and add a syntax. Gets a little bit funky, but not too bad. Nmap, and then we type in tac I, capital L, capital L, not lowercase, list.txt. Now when we hit enter this time, Nmap will scan the IP addresses in the list of targets from list.txt. It'll read each line as a new IP address, and then the scan will look just like all of the other ones. But it's cool because you can put it in a text file. It's neat, I like it. Now I want to know what you want to see about Net Nmap. It's a very fun tool and we can do all sorts of things with it. We can even use it with Netcat and that can be really, really fun. Now send me a comment below or you can email us over at tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. Not to mention also, Mubix has been doing some great stuff over with his show, Metasploit Minute. Definitely check that out over at hak5.org. And of course, I will always be over here, over at the Hack5 studio, entertaining you guys and reminding you to trust your technolust. <laughs>